We have spent the last month traveling around Vietnam and while we have tried lots of the street food here, we've got to Hanoi and things are a little bit different. They have their own foods and also their own takes on foods we've seen elsewhere in Vietnam. Wow, I love that. We're here in the old quarter of Hanoi and everywhere you look there is food, markets, vendors, street food stores, food on the side of the street. It's insane. It like melts into it and it gives it like really nice flavor. What's this? Oh, uh, lemon tea. Is it there? I don't think we've ever explored this much before. You're mouth watering there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we've gone out without a plan of things to eat because it's so easy to find food to eat here. Let's see what we find. So welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Josie and you may be wondering, Josie, why are you wearing a jumper in Southeast Asia? Well, it is freezing cold today and it is the first cold day I've had traveling literally all year <laughs> since we left Australia. So I'm really interested in the difference of weather between winter here in Vietnam. So I'm hungry though. Let's find the first stop. Okay, so it's breakfast time. So I'm looking for something for breakfast. Um, I've seen that they have egg and cheese bun me. So I'm gonna grab one of them and then maybe a cafe sewer. Cause you know, I love coffee, but we're in Vietnam. So we're gonna get a Vietnamese morning coffee. Where's the egg? Where's the egg one? Oh yeah. I'm excited. So this is actually technically, I guess, vegetarian. I'm not vegetarian. I just like egg for breakfast. So we're gonna have that in the bun me. So I know you're saying bun me, back to it's very southern Vietnam, but no matter where you are, I generally think you either have a, uh, what's this, bun me or a pho. But I'm not a noodle person, for so for breakfast. But I'm not a noodle person, so I'm gonna go with the egg and cheese ban mi. 25,000 Vietnamese dong. Oh, it looks good. Look at this. I have a feeling that's sweet chili, and I don't like chili, so let's try. Honestly, there's a bit too much sauce on that for me. Kind of drowns out the rest of the flavors. But I love the egg ban mi. I love it with egg. I don't know. I think the egg might be my favorite, and I love meat. <laughs> so walking, and we found this coffee house. So Michael got a cafe den which I think might be like just some Vietnamese coffee and I have a bak siu. I know bak siu is from Saigon, I'm pretty sure, but it's absolutely delicious, which is very strange because I don't like sweet coffee, so I must just like sweet milk. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so Michael's Vietnamese coffee is just looks like straight black coffee, which I actually might like. So, yeah. oh, I don't think you'll like that one. Would you like it? Maybe, yeah. yeah. But I do love a back seal. So it's like a milky coffee. I think it's actually more like milk than it is coffee, which is strange because I like coffee. But it's really nice. It's always been my favorite ever since getting to Vietnam. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having this one. <laughs> I think it's the sweet and condensed milk but it's just so nice. Like it's, it's a, such a sweet coffee, which like I said, I don't normally like, so I don't know why I like this. I just love it. Okay, so I just went and ordered this, but I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> and I wasn't recording the entire time. They were so helpful. My camera stopped recording. Anyway, so they look like really like sweet balls. I'm not sure. We got one of everything. They were really nice. So sorry you didn't get to see that, but let's try them anyway. Four different kinds of flavors or something. They smell super sweet, like basically a bag of sugar. They all look a little bit different. One has seeds on them. One's like plain. One has like what looks to be like sugar, like on the outside. Wow, I love that. So it's really thick. It's kind of hard to describe. The outside is really like crispy with sugar on it. And the inside is really thick. Kind of like a whole bunch of like rice. So this plain one feels like there's something like on the inside or something like that. What is that? I don't know, olives or something? I'm not sure. It's still sweet though. What is that? You don't even know either. Mung bean maybe? <laughs> Mung bean? All right, so this is a sesame seed one. Ooh. The outside is confusing because like the seeds remind me of like bread but the inside's really sweet. I'm not sure what the inside bit is. So this is the one that looks like it has some kind of glaze on the outside. That's like pure hard and sugar. Sugar glaze or something. That's my favorite. What's your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. So I just went past a shop that sells Com Tan, but I actually had that on my first day ever in Vietnam. So I'm gonna leave that on the screen for you to watch and down below so you can see that one after this video. It's actually really interesting. It was my first experience of street food in Vietnam. So we're on the hunt for something else to eat. And then we're gonna finish with a very local food. Do you know what it's called? 
Pancha. Pancha. That's the thing to get here. Anthony Bourdain fans will remember he had it in the famous Anthony Bourdain Barack Obama photo. Okay, I don't know here him, in Italy. but. Anthony Bourdain is one of Michael's like idols, so so we are here at Buncha. I am so excited. I think this is gonna be really good. I don't know. I think it's like noodles with like a sauce, soupy thing, and some like meat as well. So I'm really excited for this. Xin Hello. Hello. Uh, how do I get Buncha? Yeah. <laughs> Which one is it? Um, oh, special, traditional. Is this one good? Yes. You like that? Okay. <laughs> we just get one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What's uh, M? M. Uh, M. Okay. Yeah, forty-five. Come on. I think the thing to note is that whenever we try local food, which we try and do everywhere we go, it's kind of like originated maybe somewhere else and then people have changed it a little bit to make it their own and to suit their own countries like tastes and spices and whatnot. But bancha is thought to have originated literally right here in Hanoi. So I'm really excited to try something that's come from here, stayed here, and is the same here. Thank you. This looks so good. I'll grab some chopsticks. I don't even know how I'm gonna eat all of those noodles. You have your like little soup here. It's got carrots, some other kind of vegetable. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Come on. Come on. We have all these like different vegetables in there. Um, I guess that's to give it flavor. I think it's got fish sauce and some stuff in there to make it taste really good. Do you know? Yeah, it's like diluted fish sauce with like garlic, fish sauce, garlic chili, chili, vinegar. Chili, vine chili. In a sauce, it'll be okay. Vinegar. <laughs> so that's in there. Now what you're supposed to do, I think, is get the like noodles and like put them in the sauce and like eat them. And then you have the pork here on the stick. And it looks really good. I don't know how it sticks to this stick. Oh, it's in the middle. It's in between it, yeah. That's so cool. This one has three sticks worth of meat. Honestly, you get quite a bit of food for that. So something really funny, we're sitting here watching the traffic, is that no one actually stops. Like, <laughs> everyone just but continues to drive and just beats them that they're there. Yeah, even the other parts <laughs> of Southeast Asia, they'll like slow down. Slow down and like, scope out where you are but this one they just go there's no slowing no one slow down that soup is delicious i'm not a soup person so i don't know why i like it but it makes these noodles taste so good so i'm gonna try this pork i'm not actually sure how you're meant to eat it maybe with the i think you're supposed to push just it eat? no you're supposed to push it out push of there it out? onto okay. the plate and then eat it with a all right that is so good i don't know what makes it so good maybe the fact it's like made into like a meatball type texture or and like the type the, of pork. Or like the type of pork or something, I'm not sure, but like this is really good. Hello. Yeah. How much? Uh Sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars? Come on. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Xin What's this? Uh lemon tea. Lemon tea? Yeah. Just can I have one? Uh take away. Yeah. Take away. How much? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. Australia. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we just walked past this shop and we saw everyone having this tea. Hang on. Can you see? Yeah. Can I see it? So everyone was having the tea. So I was like, "What is it? And it's lemon. Oh, it's in a bag. It's in a bag. Oh, for some reason. <laughs> is it hot or cold? It's cold. Okay. He said lemon tea. So I'm gonna try it. So it's in like a little bag. Uh, Fifteen thousand dong. Hold that thing for me. It oh wait, can I just sip through here? Yeah, that's why I gave it to you like that. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Probably not good for the environment, but <laughs> handy. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's strong. It's, it's like sweet and sour at the same time. That's really strange. It's got like a sour, like bitter aftertaste. But the first initial sip is like super sweet. So it must be like lemon and sugar? Yeah. Oh no, you yeah. try. Wow. <laughs> it took a while to process. Oh, super refreshing. Surely this is like super popular on really hot days, which just isn't, but yum. So the awesome thing about Hanoi is, I don't think we've ever explored this much before. Like you can literally walk around here and, oh, I thought I was gonna get right over. Oh, we're getting right over. You can walk around here, walk through these alleyways and there's always things that everywhere. Way. There's like restaurants, Ooh. Next like happens, nail place. Go the other side and then they'll both between us. Okay. Everything's in these alleyways and they all like connect to each other as well. So you can just walk through here and everything's so beautiful and you all end up like somewhere else in the city You'll and find it's like something. fun. You'll find something anywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. But this is yeah, pub street, beer street, I don't know. And you've got all of these like uh pub bars? 
Is that yes. what they're called? I don't know, I don't drink. But all these open up later on and you can come and sit and watch the game and things, so. All right, we are back to where we started from this morning. We have gone for a massive walk and probably circled all of Hanoi at this point. Oh, <laughs> so let me know your favorite food down below if you're from Vietnam or if you're not, what you think you would like the most. Mine was the bun cha. What was yours? The bun ra. Oh, that was your favorite? Love this balls. I think that was my favorite like dessert. Anyway, leave me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this one, you're gonna love the one where I had my first ever day here in Vietnam. We tried some street food there also. Watch that one after this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.